Hi, this is James with Fang Office, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the Getting Things Done or GTD methodology in Fang Office. And what I'll be doing is taking this GTD workflow and showing you one of the ways that you could use this uh, in Fang Office to get to Inbox Zero. So let's get started here at the top by jumping into our email inbox and start processing some email. So the first important thing to note is that I need to process my email by using the red and unread filter so that only my unread emails are visible. So all my read emails have been processed and all my unread emails are the ones I need to go through. Also note that I won't be using the archive function in Fang Office. Uh, this works slightly differently in Fang Office than it does uh, other tools. So let's uh, click into an email and see what it is. And I see here, I know this is something that I'm not going to take action on. So going back to my flowchart, I can see that it's going to wind up in, in one of three places. So let me show you how to do that. So the first thing I can do is move it to the trash, uh, but I don't want to for this one. This is definitely a reference. And so I need to uh, get it into my reference file. And to do that on the left here, I've created uh, a dimension called references and created uh, different members of that dimension, which represent the files. And if you're not familiar with dimensions, uh, we did a short video uh, explaining the basics. I'll uh, post a link in the description below. But I'm going to file this email by classifying it to one of the dimensions that I've created. Um, and I know this is a marketing email, so I'm going to select that dimension. But I also, if uh, I want to put this in my someday maybe file, what I've created is hold for review, uh, just to give uh, certain references a little more urgency. And so I can select multiple dimensions here, save it, and now you'll see that this email has been filed by being associated to those dimensions. I can close it out and now it has been processed from my inbox. So I'm one step closer to inbox zero. So now let me show you how I would handle an email that I need to take action on. So if it would take more than two minutes, I have a couple choices. One, I can defer it to a later date for myself or I can delegate it to someone else. And to do that, I'm going to go into the email. And if I want to take action on an email, I'm going to use tasks in Fang Office. So actions equals tasks. I have a couple of templates I've created. These are like macros. And we'll show you how to make those in another video. But what I want to do here is create a task from this email. And I can rename the task if I'd like. And then when I think about my flowchart, if I want to assign it to myself, or if I want to defer it by delegating it, I can do that here. So I'm actually going to keep this task. I can set a start and end date, or a due date. And then when I think about my someday maybe, the way I approach it here is I use the priority within the task. And this will help me sort when I look at my task list and bring things to the top that are more important. I can also use my files. So if I know this is a marketing email, I can actually file it by associating it with that dimension. The text from the email has made it in here to the description. And in more details, I can also set reminders. So I can either do an email or a pop-up message from within Fang Office. And you can see here that the email has been linked directly to the task. And then I can also subscribe other people within Fang Office to this task. So they'll get updates if it's changed or if the status has changed. And I simply add the task. And here you can see that that task has been linked back to this email. And now I want to jump into my task list. So I'm going to click on tasks here at the top. And I'm going to minimize the navigation bar so I can see all of the columns. And what I'm going to focus on here is how I'm filtering and sorting uh, these tasks, here I can choose what order they're in. I'm going to choose due date. Uh, and I've got them grouped by their priority right now. So I can see that everything's, you know, that's critical is bubbled up to the top and I know what to focus on. Down here at the bottom, you can see the task that I uh, just created. And if I want to actually bump the priority up, I can click on it, increase the priority. And now there it is right at the top. 
So that's how to handle simple actions with tasks, but what about more complex actions or projects? And in Feng Office, there's a whole world of features and capability here that I'm going to scratch the surface of right now. So this time I'm going to jump into my email and I'm going to focus on not the task, but now this template I've created, which is a project template for generating a purchase order. I'm going to give it the name I want and I can choose where I want it located in the navigation panel. I'm going to just leave it at, uh, up on its own at the moment. You can also give it a color so when you're looking at a list of project you'll be able to recognize it. And I create the project. And now what I'm presented with because of the template I can a few variables. I can decide who to assign it to and I'm going to assign it to myself. And then when do I want it completed by? And now it's going to generate multiple tasks that I have defined in the template. And now when I go and look at the project, and I'm filtering just by this project I created, there are the two tasks that generate alongside it. And there's a lot more to go into here, but in the interest of time, I'm going to save that for another video and just quickly summarize what I've talked about today. So when using the getting things done approach in Feng Office, one way to do this is for non-actionable items, you're just going to use the classification tool. So focusing on classify them to dimensions that you can customize. If you have actionable items, if they don't, if they take longer than two minutes and aren't complex, then the focus is on creating individual tasks, which you can either assign to someone else or keep to yourself. And then lastly, if it's more complex, and you can use our full featured project management capabilities by generating projects, either using templates or manually in the system. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you.